Welcome back to NBA Today. So we're joined again by Brian Windhorst. And Brian, the Bulls, they have been one of the best stories in the NBA this season. They've just been so fun to watch already with their highest win total since 2016-17 season. But all-star guard Zach Levine, he missed 10 of the last 19 games that they played with a knee injury. So what updates do you have from Chicago? Yeah, a week before All-Star, he was out in Los Angeles for a cocktail, Malika, and it was not the kind of cocktail that you want. He had platelet-rich plasma therapy, mm. he had a cortisone shot in that left knee, and he had the knee drained. Ooh. Now, the, the idea here is that this will get him to the end of the season, although he hinted in discussing this with me at All-Star uh, Weekend that he might need to have more treatment in the offseason. Uh, and he was cleared to play in that All-Star game, like I said, and that he's feeling better and it will get him through the end of the season. But it's obviously very worrisome for a guy who is very important to the Bulls. And this is the same knee that he tore the ACL in back in 2017. Now, I asked him, how do you balance playing for this championship run that they hope that they're about to be on and weighing his free agency. Obviously, that knee is going to be very important as he becomes a free agent. And he told me, I just want to win. So obviously, it's going to be something that he hopes is going to be okay, but we should all keep an eye on it going forward. Absolutely, especially considering, as you mentioned, the deep run that they want to make with the Bulls. They come out of the All-Star break tied for first in the East with the Heat, but they have a rough schedule ahead. Brian, thank you so much. According to ESPN's BPI, Chicago has the toughest remaining schedule in the NBA. You can take a look. The Lakers have number two, the Warriors number three. So, Cheney and Perk, I want to loop you two back into this conversation as well with so many questions surrounding the injuries of the Bulls roster. I'm talking about Alex Caruso, Lonzo Ball, Patrick Williams. How deep of a run, Big Perk, can this Bulls team make in these playoffs? Healthy? I mean, the, it's no ceiling. And, I, and the East is so wide open that we just don't know. That's how good the Eastern Conference is. But when you look at the Chicago Bulls, they check all the boxes. They have centers. They have guards. They have wings, athletic wings at that. They have everything that you want, and they have the scoring power. Here's the thing. They have to get Caruso and Lonzo Ball back. When you, when you look at their defensive rating, yes, it has dropped. You know why? Because those two guys are two of the, the elite, the, uh, most elite defenders at the wing and guard position in the NBA. But look, AO is starting to get better. He's going to help them throughout the playoffs. We've been sleeping on Kobe White for his most improved. Every time I look up, the man got a 20 to 25 piece wing dinner. So <laughs> yes, the Chicago Bulls can make a run. That's, I mean, it's just, we could just keep arguing and debating about different teams in the Eastern Conference because the East is that damn good. Yeah. Uh, is it lemon pepper or Cajun rug? Per Which one? Lemon pepper, Cajun rub. Uh, uh, Cajun rub was last week. Yeah, we're going lemon pepper. Okay, we're going lemon look, pepper. Too. Look, I, I definitely yeah. think the Chicago Bulls can make a run, and I know you mentioned the defense, uh, defensive issues that they've had. You know, with Caruso and then also Lonzo hopefully coming back, that will fix some of that because we all know the realities. DeMar is focused on his offense and, you know, holding that side of the, you know, game afloat. Vucevic is maybe not, like, that's not necessarily his bread and butter defensively, but those are areas that they can improve, and then you add those two back, it's going to look good. That number was ninth in defensive rating um, and efficiency since, you know, that was before Lonzo, after they've been 24. So they've really been struggling on that side of the ball. But, you know, Wendy brought up the, the cocktail that is scary. Well, I'm here to say I've had that cocktail, and that cocktail has helped me get back on the court, especially this offseason. The difference between myself and Lonzo Ball, or excuse me, sorry, Zach Levine, yep. is the fact that he's in season and I'm out of season, right? So I felt the benefits. You just have to sort of manage his games and his time and make sure that he gets the adequate amount of rest. Sometimes that means pulling back from practice. Sometimes that means maybe sitting out of a game or two here mm -hmm. or there as long as you keep that swelling down. So your girl knows. I'm sure Big Perk probably knows too what that's like. It's more normal to get those types of things than it is not normal. It sounds intimidating by the words of PRP and cortisone. Cocktail lot, sounds much better. Yeah, it sounds. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, cocktail sounds much better, but yeah, I, I, prefer, I prefer a, a martini. I'm drinking Cokes though. We know mm -hmm. five uh, when cold. you're on five. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.